I love the script. Like the, the biggest part of what made me want to do the project is like James Monaco is, is amazing, and you know he's so on point in terms of current affairs. And when I looked at the script, I'm like, yo, did you write this yesterday? And it's like, no, he wrote it so long ago, but he's just always on that social political nail. And, you know, Gerard, the director, is a phenomenal filmmaker and his vision for it. This being a, a diverse cast, like a highly diverse cast, and it, it felt so different to all of the other purges. And this film specifically having the opportunity to, you know, tell the first story and it being the prequel where you know, you don't have to watch any of the other films in order to understand this film. And it feels like, yes, it's a part of the, the Purge franchise, but it's a standalone film. It doesn't really, it doesn't go for subtlety. Yes, no. But that's, but do you think like subtlety is currently wasted at the moment? You do need someone to kind of like clang a loud bell yeah. in order to point out what's, yeah. ha what's taking place. Exactly. Like, you know, they, they say you, you want to, you, you want to hide something, put it in your face. And, and, and there's a big topic as to, you know, what is actually happening right now and what, the, you know the themes of what's happening and people trying to explore them and work out why it's happening and this is unapologetically in your face you know mm. and and unapologetically black and diverse and also political and just like it tells you this is what it is like wake up let's think about this and let's look at it and it explores that through just vast entertainment and the action in this film specifically is like it's amazing. Even when you look at the other Purge films, it's like this one, it's got its own feel to it and you really get taken on a journey. And even down to character, it's a lot more character-led and, and story-led, whereas I feel like the other ones are more conceptually-led and led with just an amazing concept. And this, it, it has the best of both worlds. You like your social media mm -hmm. and yeah. your, your online platforms. Yep. So in the film, they, the, the, the people participating wear these lenses with mm -hmm. cameras in. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? It felt real. It felt like even when you know you got like, like Snapchat doing these Snapchat glasses where you can start to film everything that's going on. Like it, we're not far away from that kind of technology and, and what's happening. And it it felt like, you know, it's not something which I, I love social media, but at the same time there is a level and a boundary in which we need to take place. Otherwise, we completely blur this whole kind of social world with real life. You know, mm -hmm. like people don't want to have phone calls anymore. Sorry, the people don't want to talk face to face anymore. They want to have phone calls. They want to text. They want to WhatsApp. Like even sometimes it's weird when someone calls me because I'm like, yo, like we just WhatsApp, you know, and th there is this boundary in which we have to protect as the human race because otherwise it's going to go too far. And those those lenses are a prime example of that. And you can see that it, it, it can and, and will cause destruction. And how do you feel being an action star? Amazing. It's a bit of a dream. You know what I mean? It's like I've always wanted to be just creating work at the, at the highest level and, and Hollywood is that, you know, you're in a playground where everyone is trying to create the best work and being surrounded by so many people which give you the opportunity to do that is a dream come true. And just finally, mm -hmm. um, have you ever, have you ever walked across the grass when there's a sign saying, please keep off the grass? Have you, would that, if there was a UK purge, would you, would you maybe walk on grass that had a sign saying, please? I'm going to be honest with you. If I saw grass and I saw a sign that said do not that thing inside me would pull me to walk across the grass. Do it. I'd do it. Pretty dangerous, I know. mate.